Hey, I'm Jen, and today I'm talking about how to rely on yourself to feel exactly how you want to feel, no matter what else is going on. life coach and one of the things that I do is try to teach people where their power is leaking out and I think of a story that when I was a younger mom and I was trying to get my kids to a ball game we I had them in a bike trailer behind us and we were going and oh my gosh it was taking forever and I was hardly going anywhere and there was a lot of wind so I'm like it's the wind just pedal harder and oh my word I was exhausted and I was pedaling so hard and going nowhere. I thought we're gonna get there about the time the game is done. And my son was the pitcher. And so we, I finally turned around and looked at what was going on behind me and found that my kids were pushing their hands against the tires, which was basically like riding with the brakes on. And so I realized that I was putting a lot, a lot of effort into pushing harder and getting myself somewhere that I hadn't stopped to do an inventory to see if my power was actually going somewhere that was helping me out. It wasn't. My power was going out to the brake system, basically. And we do this all the time in our lives. And one of the ways we do it is we give our power to someone else. We leak our power out to someone who actually has no authority to do it, to change how we think, act, or feel. And also, we give our responsibility to things outside of us for a couple different things. Two of those things that are really going to affect us as we're trying to take action, then um, we need to look at where who we believe actually controls how we think, act, or feel. The reason we do anything, the reason we get married is because we believe that we're going to be happy, that we're going to feel connected, like we're part of a team these kinds of things and when we don't feel that way and don't believe and believe that someone else determines how we think act or feel we're gonna put so much effort into changing the other person or the circumstances outside of us to try to feel better inside to try to feel like we're working as a team to try to feel united to try to feel um, loved and valued and accepted so that's one of the places that we leak our power out. Another, another area is when we believe that our value is based on things outside of us. The way we look, the way we, um, the accomplishments that we get, what we get back from other people, if they value us, therefore we're valuable. If they love us, we're lovable. If we don't feel lovable or value, valuable we're going to spend a lot of time trying to get other people to prove that we're lovable and valuable so this is where our power is leaking out and our vehicle will not go as quickly and efficiently we are going to feel exhausted we're going to feel out of control and we're going to spend a lot of time trying to control things outside of us to change how we feel about our marriages about our job about being a parent, all kinds of things that are really important to us because of the way we feel when we're in them. And okay, so what can we do? All right, we, we do a vehicle diagnostic. Have you ever heard yourself say, my husband is driving me crazy. My kids are driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna offer that we are all responsible for how we feel. We're all responsible for how we act and we're all responsible and in control of what we're thinking. And so when we're saying that someone is driving us crazy, why are we putting them in the driver's seat of our vehicle? <laughs> what are they doing there? Kids, kids, get in the back, buckle up, buckle up your car seats. This is my vehicle. This means that we get to choose exactly how we feel. We get to choose how we think and we get to choose how we act. Now, I've coached enough that I know that someone's going to say, but you don't understand. This is going on and this is going on and this is going on. 
I'm going to offer that no matter what else is going on, you get to choose how you feel. Maybe you choose to feel upset. Maybe you choose to feel very sad. Maybe you choose to grieve. These are, these are good, but they're choices that you get to make. And as soon as you believe that someone else is in control, we stop trying. And so when we're empowered, we keep taking action. So I'm going to offer that let's take action in the way that gets us moving forward rather than keeps us still or putting all of our effort into changing something we actually don't control. Okay? Okay. If this helps, I'm so glad. Use it. I want to hear how it helps your life. If this is a little bit challenging to wrap your mind around, if you like, seriously, if you're like, no, seriously, Jen, you don't understand. My circumstances are different. My husband's, <laughs> my husband's this and my husband's that. And my kids are this and that. And I should feel annoyed. Okay. Call me up. Let's talk through it. It doesn't cost anything to just call and chat and see where your mind is. I'm pretty good at finding out where your power is going. And go ahead and use it to help you move forward in a way that doesn't exhaust you and puts you feeling out of control. There's so much you can do. Okay, good luck.